Did you wind up picking up the Sega Genesis Mini 2 or maybe even the Mega Drive Mini 2? Yeah, I did get the uh, European version. Didn't get the Japanese one. Kind of wish I would have stuck with that one, but it's okay. Both the, the European and the uh, US version are identical other than cosmetic differences. Same game list. Just European version has the red start button, power and reset. It says Mega Drive, not Genesis. Uh, the only other ma major difference, not that major, is uh, the European version specifically says AC adapter not included. So you don't get a power brick. But the US one did. It, it came with one. I was kind of surprised. It's like, oh, okay. There is one thing that I, I, I screwed up on on my video on that. I, I kind of quickly looked at the uh, cables and people had mentioned, hey, uh, it actually does say Sega on the USB cable but not the uh, HDMI cable. Uh, so, okay, I, I missed that. I just quickly looked at them through the packaging. I didn't see it. Didn't see it. But, hey, that's kind of cool. It says Sega on there. But I know, back to what my point is here, is these mini consoles, I know not everybody wanted another Genesis Mini. I think these things are sweet, though. They are pretty cool. A lot of people wanted any other numerous Sega console that existed, and there's been a few, right? And I find it interesting... And I heard about this the other day, that if you got the Japanese version of the Mega Drive Mini 2, or wait, that's the Genesis, the Mega Drive Mini 2, you got the Japanese one on the inside flap, which I looked on both of these. There's no information in there anywhere like that. But uh, I guess the Japanese one had like a little QR code and a little code you could put in uh, to identify yourself. And you would take like a little questionnaire. And it looks like Sega is asking people... A bunch of questions, obviously, a questionnaire. But one of the biggest parts of it is what what's the next mini console you want from them? And I find this interesting. Is this really going to dictate what we get? But this uh, Twitter user here, GSK, has posted all the questions and the options that are available through this questionnaire. And I just wanted to quickly go through this, but focus on the one that talks about, like, what should the next one be, Right. So they state, heads up, for anybody who imported a Japanese Mega Drive Mini 2, there's a link and a four-digit password for a questionnaire. And here are the questions, one by one. So just some basic stuff to start out. When did you buy the uh, Mega Drive Mini 2? And your options, where did you buy it? A bunch of options. Have you purchased the Genesis Mini 2? I guess they're like trying to see if people double-dipped in Japan, maybe? If I'm like reading this correctly, because it's like, hey, wasn't the first one... Where did you buy the Mega Drive Mini 2? Then did you buy the uh, Genesis Mini 2, which is the U.S. version, which was sold through Japan? Amazon. It was sold on Amazon U.S., but shipped through Amazon Japan. And I believe you could pre-order it on Amazon Japan. But yeah, so I guess they're looking at like, hey, if you bought this, did you double dip? A few different game differences, right? Uh, please uh, choose the information source that apply. I saw, heard about, oh, like, where did you hear about it? Like, social media, stuff like that. Uh, why did you buy it? I like own the original. Yeah, just some basic stuff, right? Which games made you buy it? Um, yeah, you gotta, you get to choose, like, diff the games that were listed, I guess. Which of these products have you purchased? And they listed uh, a bunch of mini consoles. The original Mega Drive Mini, Genesis Mini, the Game, Game Gear Micros, <laughs> the Astro City Mini, and the V the Nintendo uh, Classic Famicom and Super Nintendo or Super Famicom or the uh, Jump version, the gold one that they put out, PlayStation Classic, Neo Geo Mini. P they, they pretty much listed every major one. Game & Watch, uh, Mario & Zelda, the Egra 2 Mini, and then other specified. So they, they covered pretty much everything there. Uh, what else do we got? Rate the sound. Just like ratings, of, you know, how you felt. Operability of the controls. Let's get down to the the option that really gets into the uh, the good stuff, right? Uh, where is it? Number thirty. Which Sega Classic hardware replica would you like to see next? Select so you could select multiple options, right? The uh, SC three thousand, SG one thousand, one thousand two, the Mark three or Master System, Saturn, Dreamcast, a Mega Drive Mini three. Who the hell is gonna select that? You're crazy if you select. Mega Drive Mini 3, you're out of your mind. We've already got two of them. Do we really need the uh, Majesco one? Did Japan get one? Did Japan get a Mega Drive 3? Like, did they get that model? I have one right here. Hold on. 
Like if if they were to make a Sega Genesis Mini Three, uh, which is this right here. This is an original one. Like, and they've been keeping these things to scale. How big is this gonna be? Because here's the uh, the Genesis Mini Two, right? It's barely smaller. <laughs> it's barely smaller than the Genesis uh, Model Three. So if they made a mini version of this, how little would it be? Holy crap. It would be like a fraction. It would be the size of the cartridge slot. Like, that's it. That would be nuts. I, I, man, nobody wants another Genesis. I mean, come on, man. I hope nobody's selecting that option. And if they are, I hope it's not really uh, pushing Sega in a direction here, you know, on what to decide to make. Maybe it's the easiest route to go, and that's what they'll do. But I hope not. All right, Game Gear Micro Part 2. No thanks. You put out, I believe, five of them because you had the, the one special edition and the four uh, regular ones. Non-micro Game Gear, that could be cool. And I talked about that when the micros first came out. Like, to scale it down, like, not a micro one, but, like, a smaller version of a Game Gear that was handheld but actually playable. The micros are not, they're novelties, man. Like you could play them, but they're not the comf most comfortable thing in the world. But a Game Gear that's like a good size. I don't remember the specs I came up with, but as far as the, the dimensions. But yeah, like, uh, a little smaller than a real Game Gear. That would be cool, man. I would buy one if it had like, I don't know, 40, 50 games on it. What else? Another arcade a la Astro City Mini or other specify are not particularly interested in another Sega Mini console. They've been putting them out, working with Zwicky, getting these machines out there, and I know the biggest ones people may vote for would be Saturn or Dreamcast. How likely is that to happen? Dreamcast more likely than Saturn. And I say that only because the Dreamcast is a lot easier to emulate than the Sega Saturn is, especially on a cheaper single board computer like what they typically use to make these mini consoles. So, I mean, Dreamcast can run on a Raspberry Pi. Not everything perfectly, but a good number. So I'm thinking, like, they work with Zwicky, get a good board made, work with M2, get the emulation optimized. A Dreamcast Mini is definitely more likely than a Saturn Mini. It would cost a fortune to do a Saturn Mini properly. Like, even, like, some of... A lot of Sega's own games that you would imagine would be on a, Sa a Saturn Mini... It would be pretty difficult to emulate on a, a, a machine that's $100 or less. In the Dreamcast, I would imagine they would bump the price up. It would be the most advanced uh, mini console ever made, so far anyway. But what are the hurdles if they did decide to go with a Dreamcast mini? I, I would think the controller is the biggest thing. Because the other stuff, I think they could figure out. The controller. It's a big honking controller. And that's one of the reasons I, I kept saying, like, a Nintendo 64 Mini didn't seem likely. And my, like, train of thought there was because of the controller, how big it was. <laughs> like, that was my main thought. Like, you look at the, the Nintendo 64 Switch Online controller and how that shipped and sold. It's pretty expensive. And it's in a big box that's bigger than most of these mini consoles that are out there. So how would have they done a Nintendo 64 Mini? Like, that would have cost a lot. The logistics behind it. It, it, a bigger box cost more, less space to, you know, to accommodate more systems type of thing. So I just thought ah, that could be a hurdle. And I'm thinking that could be a hurdle with the Dreamcast as well. Like, how would they do it? Would they put like a little LCD screen where the VMU slot goes? Because there's two like expansion slots there for like rumble or whatever, or a microphone. Like, what would they do with that? Just block it out, put a fake LCD or put like one that actually works and shows stuff. Would they have the whole system housed in the Dreamcast controller and then it just kind of plugs into a little fake Dreamcast that has an HDMI port that plugs into a TV, but everything's really housed in the controller because how big it is? Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, I would hope that's not the route it would go, but I, I just have to wonder, like, a Dreamcast Mini, it's possible. But with it being like the Nintendo 64, it has four controller ports. How do you accommodate that? How, how do you go about that? This time selling like the Genesis Mini, I didn't really like the way they went about this with the Amazon Japan. Uh, it threw, you know, you wanted it in the U.S. You want the U.S. version. You got to buy it and have it shipped from Amazon Japan instead of a wide release. The Dreamcast, like, how would they go about that? Would it be like a very limited special order type thing? 
I mean, it's not outlandish to think like they would make controllers and do all that and sell like you could buy four controllers if you want. Looking at all the little arcade machines that have come out with the big ass controllers, the Astro City arcade stick. It, it could be. They could do it. But yeah, I mean, I would think more likely would be a Master System or another Genesis Mini. I would hope not. Let me know what you guys think. I do appreciate y'all watching on this just, you know, discussion video. Thanks. Bye.